We're just a few seconds away from resuming the countdown for the launch of Space Shuttle Endeavour this morning. Three, two, one, mark. And we're at T-minus nine minutes and counting. And the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. NASA test director Bill Dowdell was about to call for the transmittal of stored pre-launch commands. As Endeavour is only nine minutes from its seventh mission in space, on board is the Space Radar Laboratory and a crew of six astronauts. Configure fuel cell essential bus door switches. T minus eight minutes and counting, and pilot Wilcut is now flipping switches in the cockpit to, to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses. T minus seven minutes, 30 seconds, and the orbiter access arm is now being retracted away from the vehicle. This is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the vehicle and can be returned to position within seconds if need be. T minus seven minutes and counting. PSOTC, uh, start APU and hydraulic strip chart recorders. Step 1097 is complete. Copy. PLTOTC, perform APU pre-start. Okay, pre-start's in work. Orbiter test conductor Bruce Bartolini has given pilot Wilcutt the go to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start procedure. T-minus six minutes and counting. Pilot Wilcutt has reported that the pre-start of the auxiliary power units is complete. APU activation will come in just a few minutes, just a few seconds. T-minus five minutes and counting. Yeah, go for order, APU start. And we have a go for APU start. APC perform APU start. APU start should work. Happy CDR OTC, reconfigure heaters. Heater reconfigure is complete. The liquid oxygen replenished to the external tank has been terminated. LOX drain back is now being initiated. T 
T-minus four minutes and counting for an on-time liftoff of Endeavour today. A final test of the flight control surfaces is being conducted. This is a programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the engines and other flight control surfaces. And final aero surface checks of the orbiter's flaps and rudder are being completed. This verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems. And the three main engines are being gimbaled as a final test before launch. All is continuing to go well for today's launch of the Space Shuttle Endeavour and the Space Radar Laboratory. This mission carries a crew of six astronauts and is scheduled to last 10 days with a landing back here at Kennedy Space Center on Monday, October the 10th. TLS is go for ETLO2 pressurization. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds. No unexpected errors, so that's complete. Copy that. All is ready to fly today on NASA's four and a half million pound space shuttle vehicle. Endeavour flight crew OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. This time we're going to get you airborne. Good luck, gentlemen. Thanks. See you in 10 days. TLS is go for ET LHC pressurization. T minus one minute, 50 seconds. Everything continues to look good for launch this morning as the Space Shuttle Endeavour soon will begin its 10 day mission to continue its radar mapping expedition and study environmental changes on Earth. One minute thirty. T minus one minute and counting. T minus 50 seconds and counting, and we're transferring to orbital internal power at this time. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavour's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. 15. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. We have a go for main engine start. 4. 3. 2. 1 and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on a mission to study the Earth's ever-changing environment. Houston now controlling. Roger roll, Endeavour. Endeavour's roll maneuver is underway. Vehicle's now in a heads-down position on course for a 57-degree, 120 nautical mile orbit. Endeavour's engines are now throttling down as the orbiter begins to pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the atmosphere. Endeavour's altitude is already at 20,000 feet. The relative velocity is 1,000 feet per second or approaching 1,000 miles per hour.
Endeavour, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. All three uh, liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle. Engines are performing at full throttle. The auxiliary power units providing hydraulic power all uh, functioning well, as are the three fuel cells providing electrical power to the vehicle. Endeavour is, uh, altitude is 85,000 feet, downrange from the launch site, 30 nautical miles. Approaching two minutes into the flight, the next event is burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. SRB separation is confirmed. Endeavour's altitude is 170,000 feet. Downrange from the launch site, 32 nautical miles. Now traveling 4,400 feet per second, or about 3,000 miles per hour. Endeavour, performance nominal. Roger, performance nominal. Endeavor's, Endeavor's performance thus far in the mission has been confirmed as expected.